with Ole Miss coach Hugh Freeze, and we're talking offensive football. And coach, it seems like the more simple it becomes for you, the more complicated and difficult it becomes for the defense. Walk us through some of the things you do to put them in conflict. Okay. Well, uh, most most everything that we do, we're trying to put uh, some guy in conflict, whether it's the zone read on the defensive end, or now the next version of, of where everything is going in this type of offense. I think is is reading second level guys and. And one of the things we, we worked hard on in spring that we're certainly going to try to carry is, is putting these two guys in conflict here uh, of their assignment. Okay, so conflict in their assignment. Yeah. What does that mean? Well, they're, they're attached to the box, and, and certainly they have run support first, but they also obviously have an assignment unless it's a zone blitz of some type in the pass game, and we want to make that read happen really, really fast for our quarterback to, to be able to read one of these guys where – we have pass run options going on at the same time. How does that work? All right. Uh, one of the things that, uh, that I demand of our guys is first, it, you have to have answers for zone blitz uh, if you're going to go fast. And one of the best ways to do that, I think, is to create a three-man surface. So we, we're going to start uh, this coming year creating three-man surfaces in motion. And in this case, whether it's uh, the short motion of the tight end which creates a three-man surface. So if they do bring zone blitz, you should have be able to get the ball carried to the high safety. Now, a three-man surface means? Means uh, we're, we're, we're gonna start, and this would be considered a two-man surface by the defense, but we're gonna add a third man to it uh, to, to try to, um, to, again, put them in conflict of what they're going to do, you know, whether they have zone blitz called or just their normal base defense called. But um, if, if we, Put a th uh, create a three-man surface here where our tight end now is uh, blocking the corner and we have a hitch screen to the outside and we have this stick screen to the inside with an inside zone run. This is the quarterback's read primarily. And if the mic wants to expand to the stick route, we should just run the inside zone. What does that look like? If he were to immediately relate to number three as the motion goes, and he wants to get some width to take this throw away in this space, we should run the inside zone and we should have an advantage uh, numbers wise. Okay, because that looks like what? If you attack that inside zone. If we, if we were either way, we could run it, but let's say we were running inside zone to this side, we would have a combo to the wheel and this guy would be actually sifting now to the mic. And so his to, problem then becomes, if he wants to squeeze this window, Correct. He's not over here to stop that run. Right. He should be an A-gap player there primarily unless they had some kind of stun on and, um, and, and he's in conflict there because we created a three-man surface and we have um, a screen game going on with the run game. Obviously, there's things they can do, uh, whether it's rock the safety down and go to a three-high scheme where he does not, a one-high scheme where they, he does not have to do that. If, if they do that, though, we have our, our matchup over here that we want in a one-on-one. -on -one. Well, let's talk about that because right. you talk about this guy's conflict. Yep. So on this particular play, if, if he stays in here for the run, mm -hmm. there's a big window here to throw this little stick. Correct. Or if he takes the stick away, we have the outside screen uh, with a tight end blocking the corner. Now, you talk about if they, if they bring the safety up to squeeze this uh -huh. window instead of him. He will definitely play hard run then if that's the call that they have, but he will have to go to the middle third. And what does that give you on the other side? A one-on-one -on -one matchup here. And, uh, you know, this is where we would have what we consider to be uh, our better guy that we think can win a majority of his one-on-ones, which I'm sure everyone has. And, um, you know, that it, it, football is made up of one-on-one -on -one matchups. And if you win the majority of those, you have a good chance of having success. And, um, if they do what we just talked about, you have that matchup right here. So let's go from backwards. Okay. This guy's Laquan Treadwell, or somebody like him yeah. that can win one on one. We like Laquan there. You like that. Okay. So if they keep this safety here to protect this corner, then this guy's in a bind That's because right. he's got to help here. That's our quarterback's read. If they help this guy by bringing him up, he's got to come back up to the middle. Now this guy's in a bind. Uh, uh, you know, uh, there are people in this league that would say that this guy can win, <laughs> you know, so, but on the board, yes, you would say that is the, the, the bind that we have put them in should they go to that. Well, that sounds like there'd be some very frustrated people starting with that guy right there. 
I, I, I would hope so. Um, you know, that, that's the plan anyway. It looks good on the board. That's good. Now you got it, man.